the Army said the technology promised an unprecedented capability to track and monitor activity on the ground. A statement added that three of the sensor-equipped drones were due to go into service in Afghanistan in either May or June. Boeing built the first drones, but other firms can bid to manufacture others. These aircraft will deploy for up to one full year as a way to harness lessons learned and funnel them into a program of record, said Lt. Col. Matthew Munster, product manager at the U.S. Army's Unmanned Aerial System Modernization Unit. The A-160 Hummingbird systems are capable of vertical takeoff, meaning access to a runway is not necessary. The Army also confirmed that they have hovering capabilities, something its existing unmanned aircraft lack. Test flights will be carried out in Arizona at the start of the year before they are shipped to the Middle East. The drones will make advantage of the autonomous real-time, ground ubiquitous, surveillance imaging system first deployed earlier this year. The Argus IS's acronym was chosen to recall Argus Panops, the 100 eye giant of Greek mythology. The technology is based on a 1.8 gigapixel camera, the largest video sensor used in tactical missions.